They became really good friends, so my mom broke up with her boyfriend and got to know my dad a little bit more. And as they just started hanging out, they would go on dates, they would just get to know each other. And one of the dates my mom always tells me about is they went over to one of their houses and they were watching a movie and she looked over at my dad and my dad was knocked out of sleep. And I find that really funny because till this day, whenever we all watch a movie, my dad falls asleep. <laughs> so it's just, it's hilarious. But at, eventually my dad proposed and my mom said yes. And she got pregnant with me before the wedding, so they kind of like postponed that. And so I was born on August 17th, and kind of in the afternoon, I guess. I don't know, my mom doesn't even remember. <laughs> she says that I put her through hell because I would not come out. She said it took forever just to get me out. And actually during labor, my uncle, which is like my mom's brother, came in because he was told that I was already born. So he saw like everything and he was like, I'm never gonna see you the same, that is disgusting. <laughs> but I actually love my birthday, not because it's like my birthday, but I was born on my dad's birthday. So we share a birthday and it's pretty cool. My dad's also a twin. So I share a birthday with my dad and my uncle. So that's pretty cool. But eventually my parents got married a year later they got married in June. I wasn't one yet, but I was still able to walk around and be in the wedding. And honestly, I don't really remember the wedding, but my parents did their own thing and I spent time with my grandpa the whole entire time. And I guess I wouldn't leave his side. So my aunts, my uncles, cousins, everyone would be like, Carly, come here, come here. And I would just be like, no. I would just stay with my grandpa. And till this day, like I'm still pretty close with him. and. Even when I was little, we would go to parks and everything, so that was that. Um, after that, a little bit later, three years later, my mom got pregnant again. What kind of brought that up was like my mom, my dad caught me in the bathroom talking to myself in my reflection, and he went to my mom and was like, Jenny, she's talking to herself. She, we need to get her like a sibling or something. That's not normal. <laughs> and I don't remember that at all, but till this day my dad will just like joke around with me and it's kind of funny. But so my brother and sister were born in December, December 20th, and I really wasn't there. Me and my grandma and my aunt went out and my mom's like, don't take her anywhere. Don't take her anywhere. My grandma never listens. So we went out shopping, we got food, and on top of all of that, when we were at the mall, my aunt actually got stuck in my grandma's car, and we couldn't get her out, and that was really funny. But once we got back to the hospital to like meet my brother and sister, I just walked into the room and I told my mom, Aunt Irma got stuck in the car, mommy. And my mom looked at my grandma and was like, what? Where did you go? And I and I just kind of like stood there, but all in all, it was still a great birth for my brother and sister. <laughs> um, but yeah, so 20 years later, my parents are still together, and we like happy family, I guess, and we go on little family vacations, and yeah, it's a great story. Uh, thank you.